My name is Sohail Salehi, and I'm a postdoc at the University of California, Davis. And my research is focused on hardware security. Uh, especially, I look into uh, applications of using machine learning and AI and uh, advanced hardware security. And what that means is we have a challenge uh, within the hardware security community, whereas the uh, supply chain of IoT devices is uh, distributed. And uh, most of the companies uh, in the US are fab fabless. And that means that there are a lot of players in the game uh, in fabricating and uh, designing the chips, the uh, microelectronics. And that introduces a lot of uh, threats, mainly because uh, there, there are a lot of entities that handle your design and you, you don't know who you can trust. And that mistrust brings in uh, a lot of attack surface. Uh, there's been a lot of research uh, recently on addressing this challenge and there are many uh, solutions in, uh, proposed in the literature. Uh, but none of these approaches try to look at the problem as a multi-layer uh, approach. So what I try to do in my research is look at the problem as a multi-layer approach. What that means is I want to uh, look at hardware security as a defense in depth approach. Um, I looked into how we can mitigate uh, and resist different attack surfaces or attack vectors at different layers. Um, so I start looking at the device uh, level. So I use emerging technologies such as STTM RAM and non-volatile memory uh, devices um, to bring in um, some intrinsic uh, benefits of them, such as non-volatility, uh, reduced area that they have, the compatibility with the CMOS technology, and um, design circuits and architectures that are resilient against multiple attacks. So it could be a power side channel attack, uh, it could be the powerful satisfiability attack, or SAT attack for short, and um, hardware trojans, uh, insertion, and many more. So here, the, the, the circuits and the architectures that I designed are reconfigurable, and they enable uh, dynamic morphing capability where it helps to maintain security throughout the lifetime of the uh, device. Uh, also, I use uh, the new AI and ML methods um, to uh, make sure uh, that even if, a, if, a, if an adversary is able to still uh, you know, gather information, data from your design, they're not able to infer any useful information um, from your data that, or application that you're running on the chip, as well as uh, any uh, design information that could be useful for them to um, cause any harm to your design.